Hello aspirants, this is Saga. I welcome you all to A.A. Shah. Today in this video, we will be covering 5 crucial current affairs questions from the month of January. And our next videos will also be same in the nature by following the subsequent months. In explanation, I will try my level best to be precise as much as possible, where I will use Hindi only if found it necessary. And kindly forgive and rectify the errata if is there any in comment section. And finally, it is quite certain that this compilation is going to be very helpful for your upcoming CDS. So without wasting time, let's begin. Our first question is, arrange the following islands from north to south. Okay, there are four islands are given. As we can see, these all islands are of Andaman archipelago, located southeast of India. The first island is Swaraj Dweep, the second island is Shahid Dweep, third island is Chandrabose Dweep, and the fourth island is Little Andaman. So here the correct answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the right sequence, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now see the explanation. A Prime Minister announced renaming three islands of Andaman and Nicobar Archipelago as a tribute to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose ko shraddhanjali di gai thi in dipo ke naam badal ke. These islands were like Rose Island as a Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Neel Island as a Shahid Dweep and Havelock Island as a Swaraj Dweep. Here you can see the sequence. Here is Andaman Sea, here is Bay of Bengal, it is southeast of India. And this is the sequence of islands. Okay. Now move for the next question. Consider the following correct sentences regarding Bharat Ratna. As we know, recently three personalities have given this Bharat Ratna. That's why this is quite important to know. It was instituted in the year 1954. Yes, this one is right. It was instituted in 1954 only. The recommendations of Bharat Ratna are made by Prime Minister himself to President. Yes, this is again right. The third one is the number of annual awards is restricted to a maximum of three in a particular year. Okay, it's again correct because three only are given in this year also. And the last sentence is the award does not carry any monetary grant. So this one is again correct. The correct option is D. Now see the explanation. Recently Pranam Mukherjee, Nanaji Deshmukh, and Bhupen Hazarika were awarded Bharat Ratna. Bhupen Hazarika and Nanaji Deshmukh were given it posthumously. Posthumously means Marno Parant. Pranu Mukherjee, he is an Indian politician who served as the 13th President of India from 2012 to 2017. Nanaji Deshmukh, he was a politician and social activist from India. He established Chitrakut Gramodya Vishwavidyalaya. Chitrakut Gramodya Vishwavidyalaya. It is important because it was India's first rural university. It was India's first rural university. And he was the first chancellor of it. The next one is he established India's first Saraswati Shishu Mandir at Gorakhpur in 1950. He actively participated in Budan movement started by Vinoba Bhave and also joined Jay Prakash Narayan when he gave the call for a total revolution. Total revolution. The next one is Bhupen Hazariga. He was an Indian singer, poet, musician, maker from Assam. He was from Assam. He was popularly known as a bard of Brahmaputra. Bard of Brahmaputra. If you are asked who is known as a bard of Brahmaputra, then he is Bupen Hazarika. He was also the recipient of Sangeet Natak Academy Award as well as prestigious Dada Sai Parki Award. Now you can see he is the Pranam Mukherjee, Bupen Hazarika and Nanaji Deshmukh. India's longest bridge, Dhola Sadia Bridge, which runs over the Lohit River in Assam, has been named after him. Okay, that Dhola Sadia Bridge is also called as a Bupen Hazarika Bridge. In terms of Article 18, 1 of the Constitution, the award cannot be used as a prefix or suffix to the recipient's name. Yes, right. There are two non-Indian Bharat Ratna winners, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan who is known as a frontier Gandhi also and Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa. South Africa. Now, sometimes some people get confused with Mother Teresa. 
so let me to tell you that mother teresa was nat naturalized indian citizen she was not the foreigner she was the indian citizen only and so far 48 peoples are given this award including this three including this three okay now move for the next question which of the following sentences are correct regarding economical weaker section act the first one is this is the constitution 103rd amendment act yes right this is the 103rd amendment act 2019 124th constitutional amendment bill yes this is again right to provide 10% reservation in government jobs and educational institutions yes right the act amends article 15 to enable the government to make special measures obviously it amends the article 15 as well as 16 also the 15 deals with is prohibition of discrimination on grounds of religion race caste sex or place of birth and the 16 deals with equal opportunity in public employment so that's why it is necessary to amend these two articles the next one is such reservation can be applied to minority educational institutions no this one is wrong this cannot be applied to minority educational institution because this is governed by a particular person or a body and not by the government this will be not notified on the basis of family income and other indicators of economic disadvantage yes this is right the person who is having annual income less than 8 lakhs only this those persons will be qualified as a economical to get the benefit of economical weaker section so the right option is d 1 2 and 4 now see the explanation up to 10% of seats may be reserved for such a restrictions admission in educational institutions such a reservation will not apply to minority educational institutions yes right the reservation up to 10% for the ews will be addition to the existing reservation cap of 15% reservation for sc st obcs yes right this 10% will be in addition the central government will notify the economical weaker section of citizens on the basis of family income and other indicators of economic disadvantage okay now see the next question which of the following sentence correct regarding girmityas girmityas now what does it mean by girmityas girmityas is a hindi translation of the word indentured 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 means someone is bind as a laborer or apprentice this is called as a girmityas now see the options are one among the vulnerable tribes of india no are descendants of indentured indian laborers yes indentured recently we uh, came to know about the translation of this word so the in, this one is correct option b now see the explanation pravasi bhartiya tirtha darshan yojana was launched on pbd 2019 pravasi bhartiya divan divas which we usually celebrate on 9th of january and under this overseas citizens in the age group 45 to 60 will be taken on nationwide tour of religious places this will be sponsored by center and the state government the first preference to people from girmityas countries okay girmityas countries girmityas and jahajis are descendants of indentured indian laborers brought to fiji indentured indian laborers okay brought to fiji mauritius south africa malay peninsula caribbean and south america and so on to work sugarcane plantations by european colonizers corn sugarcane plantations okay one more thing that hindi is a official language of fiji fiji and recently uae also has declared hindi as a third official language okay now see the next question which of the following match is incorrect regarding icsh intangible cultural heritage list for india now first try to understand what is the intangible means intangible means something which cannot be touched okay which does not have any physical presence this is called as a intangible this list also established under the unesco only which ensures the protection of heritages world and simultaneously 
spreads awareness of their significance okay now see the match kudiyattam yes this is of kerala mudiyattu no this is not of tamil nadu this is of kerala only kalbeliya yes this is of rajasthan sanskirtana yes this is of manipur so here they have asked incorrect so the correct option will be b now see the explanation the ich list for india includes there are total 13 intangible cultural heritages included in ich list of india kudiyattam sanskrit theater of kerala mudiyattu a ritual theater of kerala a tradition of vedic chanting ramlila ramanna kalveliya chau dance buddhist chanting sanskirtana and traditional bass and copper craft of utensil making among the theaters of jandiala guru punjab and the latest three were added over there yoga navrat and kumbh yoga navrat and kumbh okay thank you for watching i hope you like the video have a nice day